So I had a quick question, and I, I don't know if it's an issue, but I just want to double check. So I'm working on another lead. It's a lady who has a house in Flint, Michigan. It's, um, she's looking for around 13,000 for it. Prop Stream's got it at about 20,000. Uh, and the rent is about 600. <clears throat> she's open to owner financing. So the numbers seem to work out. Uh, she also, one, offered a, a cash price of about 8000 or 8500 Her price for owner financing is closer to twelve, And I think she wants in the neighborhood about 300 a month. The rent on prop streams at least 600 So the numbers should work. I'll try to talk her down more. One question I had is she said the electricity and the water's been shut off for a while. It's a vacant house. <clears throat> she bought it to rent out to people. Um, doesn't want to deal with it anymore. She really just wants to get rid of it. She's moving out of town. She's tired of driving up there, mowing the lawn, all that kind of stuff. So I'm wondering is, is there anything to worry about if somebody's turning the water back on? Is there anything to, I mean, can something happen with the water being off for six months? Or? Yep. Uh, several things. One, uh, when you get, especially up in Michigan, um, a lot of time in Michigan, Cleveland, in the upper Midwest, a lot of times those, uh, those things will attach the property. So let's say, for example, the water bill. I had a house, I'll just give you a real life example. I have a house, a Pittsburgh, and it's a rental. And uh, the guys got pissed off when they left and turned on the water and let it run for like three or four days. Well, the water authority for the city of Pittsburgh charged me like $1,900 for that water. Um, and when I tried to sell that, and I'm like, I'm not paying that because that wasn't my deal. And the city um, stuck it on the house. And so when I sold it, the guy had to pay the 1800 plus, it was like 2000 some dollars. And so that could get stuck on you. You've got to make sure that you're not responsible for any, you know, back fees and taxes and that kind of thing. Okay. So that, would be, that would be the big thing I'd work out. Secondly, $300 a month on a $12,000 purchase is way too much. That means you're paying that house off in 40 months, which is okay if you want to do that. But that, that loan should be more like $80 a month, not $300. Okay. So, so is there anything I'd want to put in the contract about when they turn the water back on, if there's an issue that I'm... I mean, I don't know if pipe's freezing. I don't know if she had it shut off all winter. I don't know if there's an issue like that or... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you need to put in the contract that there, you know, anything that makes it not habitable or that makes, you know, any past arrearages, she needs to take care of. Okay. That's not on your dime. If she was going to try and sell it, she'd have to be responsible for that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd have her turn all that stuff back on before you close. Because the okay. risk is, I think, what you're thinking is like, okay, what if a pipe burst over the winter? We didn't know it yet. They go turn the water on, the whole place floods. Yep. Do that before you buy it, okay? Have okay. you go do that.